click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study the different properties of carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are also known as CNTs. Now all these are nothing but carbons attached to each other forming long sheets and when we roll these sheets into tubes they become carbon nanotubes. We will see the different properties of these carbon nanotubes in detail in today's session. Properties of carbon nanotubes also known as CNT. Let's see the first one which is electrical conductivity. The conductivity of carbon nanotubes is a function of their chirality. Now what exactly is chirality? If I have a carbon, every carbon has four bonds attached to it. So if it is attached to four bonds over here, each bond will be attached to a new substance. That means each bond will be attached to a different substance. And this is known as chirality. Chiral carbons are generally denoted by an asterisk. So because of this chirality present in the carbon, there is electrical conductivity of that. The second is degree of twist. Now what do we mean by degree of twist? Generally we have long sheets of the carbon nanotubes and these sheets are rolled into cylindrical tubes over here. Because of the twist or the roll present inside the sheets, there is a degree of twist which leads to electrical conductivity. Point number three is the diameter. The diameter of the tube, like the tube is hollow from inside and there is certain kind of diameter present in it. And because of that diameter, there is electrical conductivity present in the carbon nanotubes. Hence, carbon nanotubes can be made highly conductive by adjusting one or more of these parameters. If we want to make carbon nanotubes more conductive, we should increase or decrease any of these three parameters. The second point is conductivity of multi-walled carbon nanotube is quite complex. Now there are two types of carbon nanotubes, single walled carbon nanotube and multi walled carbon nanotube. Single walled carbon nanotube is just made up of one sheet but multi walled carbon nanotube are made up of many sheets together and because of these many sheets rolled together it forms a multi walled carbon nanotube and that multi walled carbon nanotube has quite complex electrical conductivity. The single walled carbon nanotubes may contain defects. These defects allow them to act as transistors. The next over here is the strength and elasticity. Now strength and elasticity both of them are important properties of any important engineering material. These are known as the mechanical properties. Point number one, the carbon atoms of a single sheet of graphite form a planar honeycomb lattice. Now whenever you have seen graphite, graphite is nothing but layers of hexagons attached to it. So now this is my carbon, this is my another carbon over here. So now all these points over here, all these words, all these vertices are carbons which are attached to each other. Over here also I have different carbons which are attached to each other. So these form like a honeycomb structure. This honeycomb structure or lattice is nothing but a lattice of graphite in which each atom is connected via a strong chemical bond to three other neighboring atoms. So over here all these bonds are strong chemical bonds generally known as covalent bonds. Because of these strong bonds, also known as covalent bonds, the basal plane elastic modulus of graphite is one of the largest known to in any material. So over here, because of these strong bonds, we know that there is a graphite layer over here, there is a graphite layer over here and there are weak bonds in the middle. So if I have one graphite layer over here and similar another graphite layer over here, both of these are attached by weak bonds known as van der Waals forces. And if this layer and this layer can glide against each other, but yet they will not be broken. For this reason, carbon nanotubes are expected to be ultimate high strength fibers. Single wall nanotubes are stiffer than steel and are very resistant to the damage of physical forces. The next point over here is for thermal conductivity and expansion. Carbon nanotubes exhibit superconductivity. Now what exactly is superconductivity? Consider this to be a wire. Now from wire from one point to another point electricity passes. So from here to here the electricity is passing. Even though we have not attached any kind of resistor over here, there will be internal resistance of the material itself. That means any material has its internal resistance. That means if the electrons are going over here, the atoms are vibrating and are resisting the electrons to flow from one point to another point. And that is the reason why the flow of electrons is being stopped, which is known as resistance. Superconductivity means there will be no internal resistance at all. 
there will be no resistance at all and all the electrons flowing from one point will reach another point within no time. That is superconductivity, which is a very important concept and that is being provided or possessed by carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes can adopt electrical properties and behave like semiconductors or even as metals. They are exceptionally strong and stiff against axial strains. Axial strains are nothing but physical strains that we try to stretch it or break it in any way. CNTs possess high flexibility against non-axial strains as well. CNTs show very high thermal conductivity. Thermal is nothing but heat. That means they can conduct electricity as well as heat. Point number four is field emission. When electrons from a metal tip are tunneled into vacuum under application of strong electric field, that is known as field emission, which can be possessed by carbon nanotubes. Field emission is resulted the small diameter and high aspect ratio of carbon nanotubes is very favorable for field emission. Because carbon nanotubes are hollow and have a small diameter, field emission can be done in carbon nanotubes. Even for moderate voltages, a strong electric field develops at the free end of supported carbon nanotubes because of their sharpness. Point number E, high aspect ratio. Carbon nanotubes represent high aspect ratio, about 1000 is to 1, which is extremely high aspect ratio. The high aspect ratio indicates the lower loading of carbon nanotubes is needed compared to other conductive additives to achieve the same electrical conductivity. That means if I have certain conductors and I have carbon nanotubes, I will have to add something to those certain conductors to make sure that they do good conductivity. But for carbon nanotubes, we do not have to add anything extra for good conductivity. They themselves are extremely good conductors and at low temperatures also perform superconductance or superconductivity as well such as carbon black, chopped carbon fiber, stainless steel fiber, etc. Due to low loading of carbon nanotubes, the toughness of polymer resins is presented especially at low temperatures as well as maintaining the other key performance properties of the matrix resin. CNTs have proven to be excellent additive to impart electrical conductivity in plastics. That means if I have a plastic which is not a good conductor, I can add a little amount of carbon nanotubes in it and mix it well and that plastic will start becoming a conductive plastic. The next property of it is highly absorbent. The large surface area of highly absorbance of carbon nanotubes which makes them ideal for air, gas or water filtration because the carbon nanotubes are made up of different carbons and these carbons have good surface area it can be used for filtration of any kinds of gases any kinds of air any kinds of water etc replacing activated charcoal with carbon nanotubes in certain ultra high purity applications have been successful so we are in today's topic we studied about carbon nanotubes what are carbon nanotubes and most importantly the various properties of carbon nanotubes we studied the conductivity properties, the electrical properties, mechanical properties and how carbon nanotubes has helped in so many other applications as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.